try to tell a true story and in hopes that whoever's listening, no matter who they are, where they're from, how they identify, um, hear a true story and, and can hear themselves in, in my music. I grew up within like the evangelical church and I don't know that I, I don't feel that I had really anyone to look up to where I was like, oh, I see myself in them. My biggest reason for creating, I guess, is to hopefully make someone feel less alone. There's something wrong in the village, in the village. One song that I've been a part of that I would say if you're a, a young queer person or a queer person at all um, would be The Village. To me, you know, I wrote it for um, two trans kids that I met on my first tour ever. I was just so struck by, by them and how they were so simply just themselves. And so I wrote the song um, years ago. It was the day federal protections uh, for trans students was taken out of public schools. And I was just kind of hearing from them what it was like to, to be in that and to feel what that feels like. And it was awful. And, you know, for me, I don't know those exact feelings or I can't put, you know, it's not my job to put myself in their shoes, but I could relate in my, in my own way as we all can. I do always write true stories. That's kind of the only thing I know how to do. Um, trying to represent the community in the best way that I can just by, kind of like the kids with the village. It's like they were just themselves and that's the most powerful thing. And so I tried to kind of be like, okay, well, <laughs> I guess I should just be me and then hope that it, that someone can hear a song or, or come see me play and be like, oh, I see a little bit of myself in that.